The Texas Hill Country is known for its pristine waterways. Small, spring-fed creeks flow into larger streams and rivers. Eventually, our waterways cross I-35 and keep flowing until they reach the Gulf of Mexico. To protect Hill Country streams, we must understand the land that borders them. Referred to as riparian, such areas are diverse ecosystems at the margins of our waterways. Generally, only 1 to 3 percent of land area is considered riparian. But the value of these ecosystems far exceeds their relative size. Riparian areas are sensitive, but resilient. The Hayes County Master Naturalists learned that in May of 2015, when a devastating flood hit the Wimberley Valley. Property damage along the Blanco River was extensive. Unfortunately, lives were lost. Lots of riparian vegetation was also damaged or destroyed, particularly the many iconic bald cypress trees that line the river. After the flood, jumpstarting vegetative recovery became a priority. Hayes County Master Naturalists combined efforts with organizations who came to our rescue. Texas Parks and Wildlife distributed 15,000 riparian sedge, rush, and grass seedlings. Then over the next four years, Tree Folks coordinated the planting of 200,000 trees and shrubs across a 30-mile stretch of the Blanco. So why so much attention to helping riparian vegetation? Experts came to help us understand what the Blanco needed. Uniformly, their answer was simple. Vegetation is the key to protecting precious hill country waterways. We learned that the roots of riparian plants become intertwined in ways that protect damaged stream banks and store water for release between rain events. Flooding is a normal occurrence here in the hill country, but riparian vegetation has evolved to recover. Three functional groups make up riparian ecosystems. First are the pioneers, and they are just what the name sounds like. The first to propagate on large, destabilized gravel bars. They are species that like to grow in harsh environments that lack shade and soil. Sometimes, they are dry land plants that will die out as soil and moisture returns. Over time, they are crowded out by riparian plants growing in their shade. Second are the colonizers. These are plants that quickly spread, creating a mat of new roots that holds newly deposited soil and captures even more. Generally, colonizers grow close to or even in the water and are vital to the rebuilding of our river banks. One of the species distributed by Texas Parks and Wildlife, Spike Rush, spread quickly and the results just a few years later are impressive. Texas Parks and Wildlife also distributed two stabilizers, switchgrass and emery sedge. Stabilizers are generally tall, upright plants, grasses, shrubs, and trees with amazingly strong, dense root structures. They are much slower to establish, but once their roots have penetrated deeply, stabilizers can withstand most flood events. Riparian vegetation plays a critical role in helping slow floodwaters and capture debris. And as floodwaters slow, sediments drop out, building and enriching the floodplain. Riparian plants are also important between floods. Besides storing water, they support lots of wildlife. And if that's not enough, many are very beautiful. Hill country streams and rivers can be resilient. That is, as long as we humans don't get in the way of natural processes. So, learn to appreciate our diverse riparian vegetation. Let it do the job it's designed to do. Preserve the quantity and quality of our precious hill country waterways.